What's up you guys, Deadly here. In today's video, we're gonna be following up on my last video about testing the thrust on these Jamjer Pulse Jet engines. We're gonna be trying out a few different of these nozzles that go on the inside. I'll show you how to set those up. From what I gather, people call them diffusers. I'm also gonna try out this metal one, maybe a few other things. We'll see how it goes. Had my scale in ounces. I'm gonna switch that to grams, hopefully, if I can figure out how to get into grams. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but it is currently set to grams. Not as dumb as I look. All right, shake it up, pop it on. So we're at 301 grams. That is prior to tearing it out. All right, let's see what we get. 30, and yeah, it goes all the way down to eight. Really didn't want it to break, so shut it off pretty early as per usual. All right, now I'm gonna put the diffuser in and we'll see how it goes. Just a little closer look at this diffuser. All it is, it is a one inch by half inch uh, pipe reducer. And I've just got, these are just uh, like pieces of uh, chicken wire, basically. I've got them stripped down and then they're just tied around the reducer. That way I can place it in like this. You don't want it to be all the way up high so that it's touching the inside of the lid. You want it to be down a little bit. I don't have any exact measurements, but mine's down by, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch or less. Then I just try my best to center it, pop the lid on, thread that bad boy on there, and hope that the diffuser doesn't go all the way wonky on us. If it does, we're gonna have to, yeah, it went wonky. We're gonna have to grab a screwdriver and even it out. There we go, that's pretty close. Oops, and there you have it. All right. With the diffuser, we're at 485 grams. Obviously with the diffuser, it's a lot harder to shake it up. So I just blow some air in there, tear it out. Gotta try that again. So it is still a little warm. That's probably why it's being tricky here. I think it's because it's too warm. Uh, normally with the diffuser on it, uh, it runs like quite violently, but um, I can't say that I've ever popped one into a warm jam jar after I ran it without a diffuser. So that could be what's going on here. Um, I'm just going to pop it into a different jar and we'll try that. All right, I'm gonna pop that diffuser in this one. This one's nice and cool. Set. Okay, so the lid is quite hot on that one, but everything else is cool. Oh, come on.
why am I not getting the same results? Last time I was getting way more thrust with the diffuser. All right, I'm just gonna try that one more time. I can't help but feel like I just got a couple bad starts. some real weird stuff going on here today. You know what though, last time that I tested this, I did have that way bigger jar. I assumed it had more to do with the diffuser, but possibly not. Um, let's try the metal one. That one is roughly the same size as the other jar that I was using with the diffuser. This metal one does not have a diffuser. So if we get even more out of this metal one than I did out of the glass one with the diffuser, then that actually might rule out the diffuser giving us more thrust. All right, you guys, 680 grams, this metal one. Settled out. Let's give it a try. Well, quite a bit of thrust out of that one. I'm gonna give this a test. I tried this the other day. I've got a little bit of steel wool just laid on top of the diffuser there. I think it kind of muffles uh, the air that can get back up around. It seems to still work really well. And sometimes when it fires up, you get these really nice flames. But I'm just kind of curious to see if it changes the thrust at all. Let's see. I have a feeling it is going to probably almost eliminate the thrust altogether. But you never know until you try, I guess. Four hundred eighty seven. Come on. <laughs> Start peaks really high. Now we're in the negative because we are burning up all of our fuel, obviously. So I rigged this up a while back. I was putting it on a big glass jar that I had. It's uh, a resonator. It just goes on top. Really all it does is it just makes it sound kind of funny, but it seems like it does change the performance of the of the engine quite a bit. Uh, I haven't checked the thrust yet though, so and I haven't tried it with this guy either. So this is all cooled down now. I'm gonna give it a shake. 
and we'll just, we'll see. I have a feeling that this is actually going to make probably a big difference. Okay, so we're starting at at 916 grams. Tear that out. <laughs> making a bizarre noise oh that's hot huh. yep that's too hot to touch all right metal pulse jet has not quite cooled fully so i put it in this water and then i thought hey maybe i should just run it in the water nice yeah i should probably fucking clean that All right, metal pulse jet is almost clean, or almost, Jesus. All right, give this a shot. The metal pulse jet with a little bit of liquid cooling. Turns out water's heavy. 2,000. 417 grams. And let's stir it up. All right, what do you think? She's getting a little hot, and I had some, uh, it, it's, well, focus. It is actually just water that's in there, but uh, there you, yeah, you can kind of see it now. That stuff that's floating around in there, uh, I was just frigging around in here one day, and I had some glow sticks. I forget what experiment I was doing, but anyways, I, I threw it in this vat of water. That's what I used for cooling, and I think what's floating around in there is the, uh, the fluid in glow sticks. But it's kind of giving it a pretty cool visual effect. Well, to summarize that one, guys, I'm definitely leaning on... I, I believe that the diffusers, they do change how they run. But I was thinking before that they actually improved the thrust. But I'm, I'm no longer as convinced. I definitely have to do more testing to find it for sure. But it seems like the reason I was getting more thrust with... Uh, the one that I, I was testing previously is just because it was a, a way bigger jar and it had way less to do with the diffuser than I thought. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. 